Hey, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bar Shem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. And peace and grace be upon the house of David, the Bayath, Dawada, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. All right, uh, real quick, man, um, I just got finished doing the sit down. Uh, you know, Lord willing, that sit down was edifying, but the spirit just hit me to, to touch on this um, sit down real quick. I want to make this a real quick, man. You know, uh, basically, to the to brothers that is in this truth, man, to the, to the men that are, you know, know this truth, you know, what manner of conversation should you, are you supposed to be in? You know, we're seeing the times, man. We're seeing what's going on. We're seeing the Lord is, is, is moving, man. All right. Let me get the scripture because I have posted it in our group chat and um, I want to post, I want to just bring it out, man, because, hey, man, the Lord said to much is given, much is required. All right. Yeah. We got things to do day to day. We got, you know, lot so-called lives that we got to, um, in the flesh that we got to, um, you know, fulfill tasks that we got to fulfill, whatever. But in all in all, man, we're supposed to be focused in med in, on these prophecies, man. We're supposed to be focusing on what the hell is happening, man. Because the, the things that are happening, all right, globally is for our benefit, man. It's, for, it's prophecies are being fulfilled. The things that are happening is because the Lord is about to bring the kingdom of heaven upon earth, man. He's about to send his son, Yahweh Shai, back to return, man. All right? Our salvation, us getting the hell up out of this place. And this is what you're supposed to be focused on, man. This is what's supposed to be your, your driving motivation every single day when you wake up, man. Like I said, yes, we got things that we got to do in this in this world, all right, to maintain and in this world. But the ways of this world, the fashions of this world is fading away, man. Things are not even, this, you don't even get excited over the things that you used to get excited over, man. Why? Because everything is 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 depleting, man. Every There's no real joy in this place. But the real joy comes from the fact that we, as in this truth, we know, we have the understanding that we know that, our our kingdom, our sovereignty, our rulership, us actually living righteously and in, in, in peace is about to be put on the earth forever, man. So what are you supposed to be talking about, man? What are you supposed to be engaged in? What is supposed to be staring up, you know, getting your blood flowing, man? If this truth, all right, if these prophecies, seeing, seeing Russia and, and uh, Iran and America talk about missiles, if that if that's not getting your blood flowing, man, you need to check yourself, man. Examine yourself whether ye be in the faith, because that obviously means that you don't have faith that these are the days, man. You don't have faith in the Lord's word saying that he's going to deliver us. He's going to destroy America, Babylon, man. That he's going to take us out from the land of our captivity. That means you don't have faith, man. OK, you need to examine yourself if you really believe or you in these times or not, because if you do believe you in, in, in these last days, are you seeing the, the, the mark of the beast, the chip coming to pass? You seeing Israel waking up more and more, okay? And you're seeing all these end time things happening, but you're not speaking about it. If you're not engaged in it, that means you're not really in the faith, man. Let me get this scripture. And the Lord is not prolonging it, okay? Every day, hey man, every day there's a article that's coming out about things that pertain to prophecy, end time prophecy. You should, you supposed to be in, get locked in on that, man. You supposed to be locked in on that. And if you're a man of the Lord, if you believe that you're a prophet, you got the spirit of prophecy in you, you're supposed to be pushing it out, warning the sheep, man. If you love me, feed my sheep. Uh, uh, Ezekiel 12, verse 26. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesieth of times that are far off. Therefore saith unto them, thus saith Yahweh power, there shall none, there shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith Yahweh power, man. Okay? And that's what's going on, man. The Lord is not prolonging his words, man. He's not prolonging, he's actually speeding up the days, man. That's why things are going from from one level to uh from one to a hundred real quick, man. All right. That's why Trump is talking crazy to Russia right now, talking about the missiles are coming, man. <laughs> hey, and that's what we're saying to America. The missiles are coming. All right. We're seeing it. And you 
And it's not like they could just go back and revert back to uh, uh, everything is peace and, 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 and loving dovey, man. They're already talking about Russia and America never, can never be friends. China and, and America is having trade wars that's going to eventually swiftly mess up the economy of America. Hyperinflation, okay, stock market collapsing. These are the things that you're supposed to be paying attention to, man. These are the things that's supposed to be getting your spirit uh, uh, hyped, man. All right? This is what you're supposed to be engaged in. What manner of conversations are you supposed to be in? Let me get that, man. This is what you, if, if you need to check yourself, man, before you literally get wrecked. Because you're going to get wrecked, man. Because if you don't have your, your lamps trimmed, all right, you're going to be them foolish virgins that's going to be left left uh, without, man. You're going to be left out and, and none shall comfort you. Uh, Second Peter chapter... Second Peter chapter two, three, verse ten, it says, "But the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall burn shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, seeing that whatever interests you have in the flesh is going to be dissolved. Okay, you're not going to be." You're not going to be able to do the, whatever things you like to do during Jacob's trouble, man. You're not going to be able to, you know, uh, uh, go to go partying. You're not going to be able to uh, 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 make music, okay? Make make uh, uh, albums. All that, B, all that BS that is all ultimately vanity. vanity. You're not going to be able to be out here chasing, you know, chasing ass, man. All right? You're not going to be able to be able to be out here trying to grind, getting more money. All these stuff is going to be dissolved, man. Seeing that all this is dissolved and seeing and knowing that you know these scriptures, knowing that you believe on this or you say you believe, then what? Then what manner of persons are ye to be in in all are ye to be in in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting the until the coming of the day of the Lord? Wherein the heavens shall uh, heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right. This is what we're supposed to be looking for in hastening, man. Not hastening, getting, getting, you know, yeah, that new car, not hastening to, to make your album, your album drop. You know, none of that. That shit is vanity. Once again. All right. We have to do things to survive in this in this world. Yes, we know that for to, to get our daily bread. Yes, we know that. OK, but ultimately, the thing that should be on your mind, the thing that should be burning in your spirit is the coming of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Your coming of Yahweh Shai, man, the, the fulfillment of his prophecies, because with the fulfillment of his prophecies comes the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. And the kingdom of heaven is going to be is before the kingdom of heaven comes. There's going to be a lot of hell put, put, put on this place, man. And ultimately, the destruction of America. And if you are not prepared spiritually if your mind is not right with the lord you're going to be destroyed in this place you're not going to be delivered man all right and i'm gonna end it out with this in matthews the 12th chapter matthews 12 verse uh shalakia it's uh luke luke 12 luke chapter 12 luke chapter 12 verse 47 it says I'm gonna start at verse uh, 45. But if then it, but and if that servant saith in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens, and to eat and drink and to be drunken. And you got men that's like that, man. You got men that was in this truth, but lost the lost the fire, lost the oil, lost the spirit, and now they're attacking men that are still uh, on fire, man. Now they're attacking men that are that are watching constantly, watching, man. Okay. Cause they aren't they in their in their spirit soul to souls even though they're not gonna come out on video and say it but obviously actions speak louder than words how they actually conduct themselves you can read their spirit and tell that they believe they don't believe in, in the Lord is coming man they believe that the Lord is delaying his coming they believe that they have more more time than they really do all right and that's what's going that's the, and that's those wicked servants those slothful servants the lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him and in an hour when he see when he is not aware and it will and it and he will cut so like and will cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the unbelievers 
And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes, man. All right. You not preparing yourself. All right. Mentally fasting, praying constantly, meditating, reading these scriptures, building up your mind, your, your spiritual fortitude so that you can have be stable in that time, man. Fearing your Hawabashim, Yahushai, keeping his laws, statutes, commandments, praying to the Lord. All right. If you're not preparing yourself, you're going to be taken in the days as unawares and the Lord is going to beat your ass, man. OK, the father is not playing. The father is not playing. He wants to see his sons in action. He wants to see his sons doing, man. It says, blessed is the, is the servant that when his Lord comes, find him so doing. We're supposed to be doing the Lord's will, man, at all times. And we're seeing the, the Lord is getting closer and closer to this place, man. Yahweh Shai is imminent. His return is imminent, man. And knowing that, knowing that with his return comes destruction and we want to be on the, on the saving part, you got to prepare yourself, man. All right. So take heed to yourself, man. Take heed and, and really examine yourself, man. I'm talking to myself first. These demons are out here trying to attack us, trying to sift us, man. And hey, we got to combat them, too, man. Ephesians 6 and 10. We got to put on all the armor of the Lord, man, because they're coming to destroy us, man. They're coming to try to get us out of, uh, out of this truth. But Lord willing, we are part of the elected. We're going to endure. We're going to stand, you know, stand uh, steadfast. We're going to come out as pure gold, man. But that takes that takes um, uh, uh, that takes action, man. That takes diligence, man. Perseverance. All right. So, you know, with that, call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and Shalom.